Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I'm realizing more and more that a lot of you guys are just new to the culture, new to the sneaker game. Welcome. I've been doing this for a while, you know. Uh, I think my job has just been to be the big brother to really put people on. And I mean, you ask the viewers, they know what's up. That's just always been my goal. And today we're gonna talk about how to get sneakers for cheap, how to save money when you're looking to buy sneakers. Because this can be a very expensive hobby. I mean, there's plenty of times that I've purchased shoes for way over retail or even at retail. And just to find out a few months down the line or even a few weeks, they end up dropping in price. And I'm like, bro, if I would've just been a little patient, I really need these like that. Probably could've saved some money. But before we get into that, let's get into today's sponsor, Shop Tagger. If you guys don't know what Shop Tagger is, it's basically a Chrome extension. It allows you to be able to basically create your own closet. I'll show you guys a little breakdown of it. So I'll put the link down below so you guys can go download this. Shop tag your personal assistant. You'll just install it and then you'll end up getting a simple dashboard like this and you can break these down. It's different list. So for example, here's my list. Clothing, sneakers, obviously Stone Island is vital. Always looking for 40% off anytime I can. And even down to just having sneakers. Uh, anything that you're looking for, you can basically choose what kind of price breakdown you want. You want to get notified if it's back in stock. Uh, here's an example. So let's say these Nike Adapt BB, $400, that's pretty steep. And this is an example of what I'm talking about. There's the potential of these going down, being discounted. So what I'm going to do is add this to my list. I'm going to add it to my sneaker list. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now, if I want to do custom options, I can completely save the product. I can pick exactly what size, what notification I want to get. So any price change, and then obviously save it to my sneakers list and boom, it's that simple. And there's also coupon codes. So if I was to add this to my cart, well, we can go check out. And you can see coupons are found. I feel lucky. Now I don't necessarily know if there's gonna be any coupons for this right now, but you get the point. It'll even test out the codes for you. Let me know if I can get these under retail. And ShopTagger is also going to be offering automatic cash back. It's coming soon, so stay tuned for that. If you guys would like to download the extension, the link will be down below. Check it out, man. It's definitely dope just to save some money. And it's nice because it kind of does it all for you. You can get email or push notifications. It's really up to you. But let's get into the other tips. Now, honestly, throughout my career of collecting sneakers, I've spent tons of money, lost tons of money, got some steals, you know, missed out on some deals. It's just been all over the place. And that's just a part of it's a lot of trial and error when it comes to shoes, but a few tips that I can kind of pass on to you that I think are very important, especially when it comes to getting these deals, is you definitely need a Twitter account. If you guys don't know, I own Deals Under Cost and also sneakerlife.org. It's basically on Twitter and then there's a website. And throughout the day, I typically tweet out different deals. You know, there's always sneakers under retail, there's always coupon codes, there's always just clothing that goes on sale. So if you guys do have a Twitter, which I highly recommend you make one, make sure to go follow those accounts because they they will really help you out. There's been just so, it's honestly opened my eyes to like not paying full price for anything because if, as long as it's not like super hyped and something that you don't necessarily need right now, you will most likely get it a few weeks or months later and for possibly half the price, which honestly is huge. Social media is super key when it comes to these deals, even having something as simple as an Instagram account. You guys can follow me at Mike the Compass, but there's plenty of pages that just have deals all the time. I think one of the best marketplaces is honestly Facebook. There's a lot of steals on there. Typically a lot of guys that are either selling their collection or they're just trying to move stuff. I think my favorite page to follow is probably Retail Tuesday. It's a group. You can join them. Seems like every Tuesday they just post great deals you know you can get a lot of maybe your holy grails for a little bit cheaper than you pay on maybe a go or stock x or any of the other resell marketplaces now this next one is kind of ah oh man it's it's a lot of trial and error i've fortunately enough had a lot of good luck but it is ebay ebay has a lot of steals a lot of people are just trying to move stuff especially with what's going on right now if you have the cash to burn and you're really trying to just build up your sneaker collection you can simply just message them hey uh I know you want 350 for these. Do you think you could do 290? I mean, I got you, I'll pay right now. And the majority of the time, a lot of people are like, cool, run that. I mean, there's no fees on eBay, so they're not really crunched. You know, there's no 10% that they're paying. So a lot of eBay sellers or just sellers in general aren't really too willing to budge on the price. But since there is no eBay fees, a lot of people would be like, 
cool, let's run that offer, man. I'll take that 290, it's no big deal. Then of course, I mean, at the time shooting this video, none of the outlets are open, at least not in my city and in a lot of places it's locked down. But when the outlets reopen, there's so many steals there. I've seen so many retros that honestly, like, I feel like when you're not looking for something, it always pops up at the outlet. And you're like, oh man, they have these, but you're like, oh, I don't really need them. And then a few months down the line, you're like, damn, I should have bought those. Perfect example for me is probably the Mocha 3s. Like they had them sitting at my outlet for $115 for a long time. Like every time I went there, I would see them I'm like, oh man, I really want those, but I don't need them. And then of course, a few months later, I was like, bro, but I still got them on eBay for like 130 bucks. So I'm not tripping, it was still under retail. And really that's it guys. I mean, those tips are super simple. Have a Twitter account, make sure to just look all over eBay. Don't be afraid to just offer or shoot people messages. Facebook marketplaces are great. Obviously social media, you're always gonna find different uh, kind of groups, especially in your area. Like for me in Denver, we have like a Denver sneaker exchange page. and. Just all these little Denver pages, they got them in LA, I'm sure they got them in Wisconsin, I'm sure they got them in Utah, you know, you just gotta find it, you gotta go out there and look. But those are literally the simplest tips, like honestly, there's there's nothing else you need. That is exactly how you get sneakers for cheap. There's no magical website that's just gonna be like, oh, this is a $1,500 shoe, here, you can have it for $150, that doesn't exist, guys. If you go to any website or you see any Instagram account selling all these brand new shoes that you know for a fact, are going for $2,000, $3,000, $600, but they're selling them for 88. It's too good to be true, bro. Use your head, that's it. Like, I know you wanna get sucked into that, like, oh man, I mean, they are 1500, but they're selling them for 150. Let me just run that because most likely they're gonna be fake or you're just not gonna get anything. You got scam, got finesse, you're better off just being patient and think with your head, man. Remember, always remember, when you see a steel price, think to yourself, if it's too good to be true, it is. So let me know down below your biggest steal to date. I would say mine would definitely have to be my Yeezy 2s. I ended up getting a huge box like a few years ago from a weird situation, but I paid $800 for like solar Yeezy 2s, platinum Yeezy 2s. Uh, I got the easy ones, like it was crazy. It was a super steal and that's probably like to date. Either that or I got the shattered backboard ones, which I still got. I got them for $160. I basically paid retail and they were worn once. Those are the biggest steals of my sneaker career so far. Let me know yours down below. And of course you guys can always drop comments. Also, I wanted to let you know, I just officially released Mask. Um, I got them in white and black. I'm gonna show you guys all the white ones real quick. You know, we got the, I feel like Kobe and RIP. Uh, you guys know I'm a huge Kobe fan. I had to make this one. Kobe always represents greatness. Uh, this one is just for fun. These are all just for fun, guys. We got the stay at home or just stay home. So, you feel me? Ooh, wee. Uh, we got the sneezy cover up. And, you know. I feel like Mike for the one time. Uh, yeah, you can pick these up in white and black. I also got the Any Social Distancing Club. You can get all those down below. And just to let you know how they run, so, you know, it's just your standard mask. And what's really dope is that you can actually put, if you got one of those filters, you can put it in the pocket in here. So it's actually a double layered mask. Fire. So. Yeah, it's your boy Sneaker Life. I'll catch you on the next one. Running. Hey, it's Jimmy.